So guys, if you're just joining, fake mic real news. It looks like there's been an accident, some type of hit and run, not really sure, but we got police, firefighters, EMTs on scene. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers. Guy's giving me dirty looks to the filming. The dude with the hoodie's like shaking his head. Can't be bothered not to lick some boots. I don't know why the firefighters are upset. I love the firefighters. They just look that way. They could be not upset. There's this guy just walking in the middle of a fucking thing with the hoodie. If that was me, they'd be like, oh, I'll back up. I'll get the fuck out of here. Oh, you're in the scene. Da 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 da.
Good, how you doing, brother? All taken care of, man. You want to give me a mean thumbnail? No, I'm coming to that, buddy. I'm blessed with this truck. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, folks. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to 20k. Fake Mike Real News on Twitter. Fake Mike Real News on Instagram. Fake Mike Real News on Cash App, PayPal. Find me. This guy served in the military just by the way he stands. There's no tow truck for the car, so I don't know what they're going to do. I think we're going to sit here until a tow truck comes, but I'm surprised they weren't called immediately. There's a bunch of tow companies right here, but I know they only usually work with specific ones. Don't tell me good lies Cause I'm fine no matter what Guys, we're gonna have a celebration and I got a special treat for you once we hit 20K, so we deserved it. We put in a lot of hard work. It's all of us together. Guys sending me information sharing the videos, liking the videos, commenting, it all helps. The best way to help me out is to share the videos, take my best interviews and share them all over the place on social media. That's how we, uh, that's how we grow. That's how we get new friends. That's how we change the world. So let's let everybody know about the fraudulent, corrupt, unconstitutional, legal, and immoral Federal Reserve banking system. Let's let them know. We're standing on our, on our ish and we, we want our rights.
Firm, firm, talking about the firm. That is, that is, that is, that is firm biz. I'm gonna talk about it. Bonus points to anybody can name the song in the comments. I'm gonna talk about the firm. I wonder where we're standing in bonus points right now. I'll have to go and look at the leaderboard. And this is how police will spend the majority of their day, you know, dumb shit like this. Not that it's bad, whatever, but you know, there are definitely, uh, I don't know, do, do we need two police officers to write out two reports for uh, that? I don't know. I don't think we do, I think we need one. People, I always say, well, you know, wouldn't it be better if these guys were out here, you know, looking for the missing kids, solving the cold cases. Like, well, they're detectives, well, they're... Yeah, exactly. Pull one of these guys off. How many times the other day we had, what, three officers for a homeless person? Yeah, pull two of those officers off the beat. We don't need three officers for a homeless person. We don't need two officers. And this is low end. We've seen five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve cops for nothing, right? So... Pull these cops off the beat and let's solve the 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 cases. Let's get these let's just get these families from the cold cases. Let's get them some type of resolution, right? I mean, do we need four or five cops for a homeless person? No, we don't. If we're gonna spend all this money on the police, can we get some crime solved? As I said, according to a recent study, police only solve two percent of major crimes. That study sur surveyed over 50 years of police's own data. So, I mean, we already know if your house gets broken into, good luck. If if your bike or your car gets stolen, it's not gonna happen. A small crime, they're definitely not gonna solve that. But the big crimes, the stuff that they should be solving, they don't. They don't solve 98% of those crimes. Well, they got a tough job. <laughs> There are several jobs, including pizza delivery and being a garbage man, that are more dangerous than this. And those actually, those people serve a good function. People ask for pizza. Nobody asks to be accosted, have their rights infringed. Am I right? Am I right? <clears throat> And as we've documented on this channel, we've traveled this entire country, spoken to hundreds, if not thousands of officers. We've asked, hey, how seriously do you take your oath to the Constitution? And they'll say, very seriously. And they'll ask them, can you tell me just the First Amendment? Not the second, third, not the 17th, not the 354th, the first. Can you tell me the First Amendment? And they typically, well, I shouldn't say typically, not one has ever gotten it. One across this country. Now, like I'm cherry picking every single police officer from New Hampshire to Kansas to Seattle, every single one of them has gotten it incorrect. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. <clears throat> I would say that's a bad percentage. And on top of that, they're taking a sacred oath. Why would you take an oath to something you don't know? What does that say about you as a human being? How can you possibly protect my rights, the job we're paying you to do, if you don't even know them? If you don't even know the first one? Don't even know the first one, bro? Come on. People are, like, well, people, people are like, well, police save lives. Yes, there are some instances where police have saved lives. They're incredibly infrequent. <laughs> police kill anywhere, statistically speaking, from three to seven people on average a day in the United States alone. So yes, there have been a small amount of people that have been saved by the police. Those people, if we were, if we were allowed to carry our own weapons, or have our own private security, be even better 
we have to rely on them, but police kill by orders of magnitude more people than they save. All right, so don't give me that cop to be saving people, ish. We've caught cops sleeping. We've caught cops torturing homeless people. We've caught cops drinking. We've caught cops being racist. We've caught cops not knowing their job. That guy seems like a pleasant cop. I bet he doesn't know it right, but. Have a seems... blessed day. You too, man. Seemed like a nice guy though. That's cool. Whether he's being sarcastic or not, I don't know. Notice how his shit's tinted down, but I got pulled over. I get tickets for having my shit tinted. All right. This guy's gonna have to be the one that stays here to the tell company. Why do we need two of them in the first place? I don't know. If you get an opportunity, we'll ask this guy if he knows the First Amendment. This guy looks, I, I'm gonna bet that he is a soldier. I don't, that's what I'll open up with him. Because I can just tell by the way he's standing, his posture, he walks, he's a soldier. So first question I'll ask him is, did he serve? I'm gonna go with the assumption, yes. We'll see if I'm correct or not. Did he serve? And quite frankly, any member of the military after World War II that served has participated in an illegal war. Only one since then, the Iraq War, has been congressionally authorized, which is what the Constitution said. So every other war, after World War II, or conflict, or military engagement, anytime troops were dispersed, on or off this soil, after World War II, was a violation of the United States Constitution made a treason there. <clears throat> now, the penalty for treason is death. I don't think we should have that. I don't believe in that um, at all. However, the Iraq war, even though it did get congressional authorization, it was still based on a lie about weapons of mass destruction uh, that we knew at the time, came out later, and everyone, Dick Cheney, not Dick Cheney, um, Rumsfeld passed. Was it Dick Cheney? Yeah, Dick, Dick Cheney when he passed. Not Dick Cheney, sorry. Uh, Dick and Colin, Colin Powell. People were celebrating that guy like he was some type. Bro, that guy caused the death of so many American service members, so many innocent Iraqi people, so many innocent Afghani people. And these are the people we celebrate. People like Rick Ross, literal CEO. Drake caught texting multiple underage people. These are the best rappers in the game. Oh, golly. We're the best. We're the best in the game. Rick Ross running his whole career like he's hard, he's tough, he's on drugs. You're a CO, bro. Get the fuck out of there. How does this shit pass in hip hop nowadays? So I barely listen to the hip hop nowadays. The top rappers in the game right now are COs and people that text underage girls. Hmm. They're very interesting. Ah, man. Call me an old man, but it's not the same. I miss cannabis, rock cam, Wu-Tang. You know what I mean? Some De La Soul. I'm introducing the ghost face killer! No one could get Ella. My people's are you with me? Where you at? In the front, in the back, in the back. Peep type flow. Jack Cousteau gonna never get this low. Ah. Cherry bomb and shit. Boom. Just one. <clears throat> Oh, looks like the toe is here. 
see if we can get a word from our officer on duty. Boys in blue. See if we can get a quick word. You guys always know it gets the wildest, the craziest, the funnest. No funnest isn't the word, but it's what happens at the end of these videos. That's what happens when you guys stay and wait. <coughs> Guys, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to 20,000. Best way to help us is to share the videos. <clears throat> hey, this video might be cool at the end. It might be terrible. At the end of the day, though, we've got some amazing interviews. Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece, the last interviews with Jordan Maxwell, the last interviews with John McAfee. we got PhD economist on this channel, Daniel Lacaye. <clears throat> you know what that means? He's from the streets. He's an economist, but he's from the streets. I don't know if this is really from the streets, but he's super dope. We got people like Dean Radin. Yeah, the guy that busted open the power of your mind, quantum physics. <laughs> Recent interview, fakemikerealnews.com exclusive, Cynthia McKinney, PhD. Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney, PhD. Ah, and there he goes. Unfortunate. I'm not going to get a chance to talk to my boy. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Probably not. We'll see. See if we can get a quick word from our sponsor, aka me. I'm sponsoring these guys. So are you guys. People say <clears throat> when I go to another town, oh, you, you don't pay taxes here. Well, if I made a purchase at your store or your restaurant, yes, I do. And I pay federal taxes. And last I checked, I don't know a local department that doesn't get money from federal taxes. No matter where you go, I pay your taxes, bucko. Where are the bosses there, okay? Some, some, not all, but some, some graphs of some of the city halls, town halls, state house we've been to, show the proper graph that the people are the first, and then it'll be the governor, the mayor, the city council, the police, et cetera, et cetera, below that. We never need to forget that, that we are the bosses. We are the masters. <coughs> we the best. <coughs> We made to make sure them that they got these these fools work for us. They work for us, Bucko. Don't you forget it. Au revoir, Pee Wee. Au revoir. All right. Not eventful. But you never know. You never, never know. Hi right, guys, FakeMicroNews.com. Check me out on Instagram, Fake Mike Real News, Dallas on Fake Mike Real News on Cash App, Fake Mike Real News, PayPal, Twitter, Facebook. I feel like nine Facebooks now. Check me out, please.